chapter 43. So now as we go on to the next chapter, you find that they went ahead with their own plan and they forcibly took Jeremiah and his scribe Baruch with them. Today's language is called kidnap. <laughs> don't want, I don't want to go. I mean, Jeremiah, since he released the word, uh, he'd be crazy to say, okay, okay, let's fall in, I go with you, you go, I follow. He would have stayed, but they took him. So, Jeremiah 43, verse 1 to 4, Jeremiah's message is rejected. Then, the people go to Egypt, verse 5 to 7, and then the hidden stones. This was the last prophet, prophetic act that Jeremiah did. You know, he, had, uh, he wore the dirty loincloth and, and so many things, right? So this is the last prophetic act. So let's look at verse 1. Now it happened when Jeremiah had stopped speaking to all the people, all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent him to them. All these words, that Azariah, the son of Hosariah, Johanan, the son of Kariah, and all the proud men spoke. The Holy Spirit gave us the adjectives. Proud men. Spoke, saying to Jeremiah, You speak falsely. <laughs> you speak falsely. The Lord our God has not sent you to say, Do not go to Egypt to dwell there. But Baruch, Baruch is his secretary, his PA, right? His scribe. The son of Niraiah has sent you against us. So, uh, you and your secretary, you all must have bakat. You all must have conspired, set you against us to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans that they may put us to death or carry us away captive to Babylon. So, Johanan, the son of Karia, all the captains of the forces and all the people would not obey the voice of the Lord to remain in the land of Judah. But Johanan, the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces took all the remnants of Judah who had returned to dwell in the land of Judah from all nations where they had been driven, men, women, children, the king's daughters, and every person whom Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, had left with Jedder, Liar, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah, the prophet, and Baruch, the son of Niraiah. So, these are all in that, how many verses? In that two verses. These are all the survivors then, you know, when Nebuchadnezzar's people took the exiles away, took the, the, the people in Jerusalem away, he took all the rich and the leaders and everything, right? But he left some of the poor, simple ones behind. But at the same time, there were some warriors or whatever you call them, bands or groups of people like Johanan and Ishmael. They actually ran away to the mountains and actually Israel got mountain, you know, so they all ran away. So can't catch them all, right? So when Babylonian, the Babylonians have taken the exiles away, they came back. And by then they found that Jedaliah is appointed. So they came around him. Now Jedaliah is out of the way, Ishmael has gone, so Johanan and all these people remain. So bring all these people and Jeremiah and Baruch by force and brought them to Egypt. So these people 
especially Jeremiah and Baruch, you can say they were hostages, victims. Verse 7, so they went to the land of Egypt, to the world. Yeah, that's what it means. For they did not obey the voice of the Lord. And they went as far as Tafanis. Hey, but just now I read, huh? just now I read, whatever it is pleasing or displeasing, we will obey the voice of the Lord, right? Verse 6. And now here is, so they went to the land of Egypt. And where did they go? As far as Tephanis. So this is the map. Thank God for this projector. <laughs> the other side cannot see. Okay, so the Jerusalem is up there. Okay, by then they would have left because uh, they were afraid of the Chaldeans, and then they went. And where is Tephanis? You all see Tephanis? It's, an, it's, it's another one, huh? Tephanes, Tephanes. Uh, <coughs> I thought I found uh, Okay, this map, this map. Okay, so they came from here, Jerusalem, down, big doll. And then Japanese here. Okay. And you know this is Egypt. This whole place, this whole place is Egypt. This is the Red Sea. Should be in your in your photostatic paper. If not, go and see my brother there. Okay. Where are we? Yeah? Ah, okay, verse 8. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah in Tephanis, saying, Take large stones in your head and hide them in the sight of the men of Judah. In the clay, in the brick courtyard, which is at the entrance to Pharaoh's house in Tephanis. So, does the word brick sound familiar? Especially to the Jew, it should be familiar. Because their forefathers uh, were making bricks for the Pharaoh in Egypt to build the pyramids. And they cry out to the Lord, Lord, save us. We are tortured here. It's a hard life here. And God delivered them. Why you you turn? Why you you turn? Like the pig, uh, you shower, shampoo, conditioner, you know. Release the pig, the pig goes back. Back to the pit. So why you go back to the world? That's why God says, stay, don't go. <coughs> so God say, take large stones. Now, stones are uh, those days are. Uh, they, they don't like until today so they don't like you know what even in in, in Israel the Palestinians are when they want they want to show their anger towards the Israelites what do they take do hamtam bola no they take the stone and they throw so stone can be a weapon that one tiny stone uh, went into the head of Goliath but God said large stone large stone Means what? Big enemies coming. Okay, take large stones in your head and hide them in the sight of the men. Let them see. Let them see. So, I, I find this funny. If you hide, that means you don't want people to see. But I hide in your presence. I, I hide and let you see. So that you know, you know. Now it is not surfacing yet, but it will come. It will come in the sight of the men of Judah in the clay in the brick courtyard where your forefathers were which is at the entrance to the Pharaoh's house not the palace perhaps you know near the palace and so on in Tephanis and say to them 
Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and bring Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. This is the great enemy from the north. My servant, he is God's instrument, and will set his throne above these stones that I have hidden. So where I have hidden the stones, this great enemy from the north will set his throne there. Near, near, near the Pharaoh's house. And in the courtyard of the brick courtyard, where your forefathers used to do bricks, they were slaves, and you shall be slaves again. And he will spread his royal pavilion over them. That's like his royal tentage and so on, right? When he comes, he shall strike the land of Egypt and deliver to death those appointed for death and to capture and to captivity those appointed for captivity and to the sword those appointed for the sword. I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt. Idolatry is quite widely practiced in Egypt until today. You go to Egypt, please go, go and buy those triangular things with the eye and, and you know, all. Then they got so many of all these things. You look into those documentary, the pyramids and so, so on. Then they got all this. They practice so many things. God said, I will kindle the fire. He used Babylon to burn down the gods of Egypt. But Babylon is known as the mother of all idolatry. Yeah? So it takes a thief to catch a thief. And he shall burn them and carry them away captive. Now, we have also studied in, in, in recent past that what enemies do is when they conquer your land, not only will they plunder, they will take your, your wife, the, the ladies and the children or whatever, kill the men, but they will also go into your temple or your holy place and take your holy things and your gods and bring back to their homeland and put in their temple. It's like collection. I mean. <laughs> collection. So, and carry them away captive. And he shall array himself with the land of Egypt as a shepherd puts on his garments and he shall go out from there in peace. I read this again. And he, the enemy, Nebuchadnezzar, he shall array himself with the land of Egypt as a shepherd puts on his garment. What does it mean? I didn't understand in the first place, so I went to look up. The shepherd has a garment. When he's ready to move or whatever, there's a garment. But the garment usually got lice and got uh, whatever lah. Kutu kayam, kutu, kutu, whatever. You know, because he's with uh, all the sheep and so on, right? So, he will just flip it. Just flip it, no. And then he wear. It's good enough to wear. It's so easy. You know, no need to send to dry cleaner, wet cleaner, laundry. and the, It's like, just flip the thing, all the lice will go away. Then it's good enough for him to wear. So, Nebuchadnezzar is going to take over Egypt like a shepherd, just flip away all these irritants in Egypt. He will just conquer the land. He will just come and take over the land with ease. And he will go away, go out from there in peace, not worried that the people will rebel, the terrorists will come after him, will retaliate and so on. You follow me? So easy, it's like quite a few years ago, actually, it, when Saddam Hussein was around, he just, one day he just marched his people into Kuwait. Remember? You're not born yet. Should be, lah. <laughs> that was the first desert storm war. When Saddam Hussein, you know, then President George Bush, yeah, the, the, the father Bush, 
Yeah, that was the first time he got the coalition and then the US, you know. Uh, then they went in, desert storm, the first one. It's just like that, just go in. So easy. If US and the, the coalition did not come in, Kuwait is gone. Under Iraq. As a shepherd just, you know, puts on his garment. That is what he means. Flip his garment and Nebuchadnezzar will take over the land of Egypt. And he shall also break the sacred pillars of Beth Shemesh that are in the land of Egypt and all the houses of the gods of the Egyptians he shall burn with fire. Now what that means is that the gods of Egypt, of Egypt, they are important. No power, no power to protect the Egyptians. And in fact, these gods were kidnapped and brought to Babylon. Can you see, can you see Beth Shemesh? I try, but sometimes some places are very difficult to find. Okay, all I know is it's here. <laughs> okay, that is chapter 43. 